All right, what's up, guys? Be doing the notable flow video form. Let's get this started. This is my big hitter flow filter over 200,000 in premium, zero to 45 days of expiration. And basically, every setting is on. You guys can hear me. Uh, so let's run through this and see if we have anything notable, and then we'll check out the other filter as well. Uh, starting at 9.43 a.m., we did see a 61 put for AZN. I make sure these are being bought. Yeah, so at the ask this morning, 3,000 in volume, 218,000 in premium, over 3,476. And it seems like, you know, they didn't add or anything. They didn't sell. So it seems like they're in the full position, right? So this is... Definitely gonna be one to watch. AZN 61 put for 825 expiration. Let's see if there's anything else that stands out. Now we do see a coin 85 put for 2.93 million at the bid. Right? So you, if you click this candle, you can actually see all the bid orders going on i mean there is some but it seems like they might be adjusting it as well so that could be another possibility um for, for the most part those are at the bid um we do see a kweb 31 call for 221,000 at 10 54 a.m and these guys kept buying uh at the ask here 10,000 in volume we got some more 4,000 might have taken off a little bit um and also another 5,000 at 2.30. So they really started to load up K-Web. Um, oh, you can see the premiums of this kind of a little higher. I mean, not much from like, let's say 47 cents to 52 cents. So this could be definitely up. I feel like a lot of people are buying China stocks in the last couple of days. So this could be one that could work. So K-Web 31 call for 818 expiration um iwm this this worked out well so we don't we don't we don't want to review that um we did hit that qqq that was pretty sweet right here 370 call um mid 40 put for upst for 2 million i don't really like mids it's, it's kind of messy um but if we go of what i saw earlier today you can go to XOM was one. Um, these are very interesting, right? So 2000 in size came in. If you actually click the contract, end of the day order. I really like these types. Uh, so 112,000 uh, and it only cost 50 cents. So this could definitely be a good trade um, tomorrow. So we'll see how this goes. So an XOM 120 call for 915 expiration. Uh, what else do we got? We had a plug end of day trade and this was the 13 call for 84 yeah so these right here end of the day i always like these ones uh 242,000 cost 36 cents 6,700 in volume 13 call for 84 expiration so again these are very interesting you know crm was a big one yesterday we saw over like 2 million in premium at the end of the day and those went up, I think, three hundred to four hundred dollars per contract. I'm not saying these will, but um, just my point is that at the end of the day, these flows kind of work pretty well. Uh, another one, RKLB. This is something that uh, apparently there's they have like a launch or something uh, towards Thursday or something like that. Uh, there was a seven call that was hit for seven twenty one expiration. Kind of, I mean, a lot of premium, four hundred sixty five thousand. And it seems like it's mainly, you know, it's a single leg, right? Only 4% multi, so there might be a little bit of uh, financing on this, but it seems like it's mostly a single. 465,000, 9,000 in open interest, 32,000 in volume. We did see a lot of buys, some sells towards the end of the day, uh, but now we are seeing, oh, here it is, the eight calls. So some, yeah, so they could be rolling the seven call for 721 expiration. And buying this eight call for eight eighteen, so they're basically they could be adding time to this contract. So this was this was also an interesting one. 
One I do want to talk about is RVPH. This is what I mean. I think I tweeted this yesterday that if you're not comfortable in buying options, uh, you can buy the stock, right? And I like stocks under $10 when I see flow, you know, especially with IV of 131%, you know, it's kind of risky, right? So what I would like to do is, you know, for this stock, you know, we click this, it has 1.6 million. There is some little messy stuff going on around here at 3,900 on the no side. Um, but overall there was 876 that came in. And, you know, if you match this with your chart, right? I mean, I don't have my chart, my trading view is not open anymore. But if you match with your chart, there's a support at 4.86 for this stock. So, you know, if you want to buy the stock and have a stop at 4.86, this could be a good trade. You know, high IVs, you know, I mean, if it goes your way, then, you know, you can make a lot of money. But if not, you know, obviously it's not, not the best feeling, especially with this crazy high IV, right? And it seems like, yeah, this is a single leg. no multi-leg trade uh it's been getting hit for since yesterday as well obviously had a nice day 7.29 percent uh so this is definitely on watch we do see some pounds here 19 calls that were pretty light but honestly as far as that like there was there really wasn't much flow that was too interesting i mean you do see some tesla flow coming in um but you know, it wasn't, it was honestly a pretty slow day. Um, you got some meta 305s. These are pretty expensive, but kind of messy as well. Uh, but again, tomorrow we have CPI. So who knows? We can remain flat. We can gap up. We can gap down. So it might be a little misleading. So we'll, we'll see how these contracts do tomorrow. You know, sometimes they might gap up the contracts and maybe have to wait for a pullback or just not even enter at all. Or, you know, they could be on discount. So CPI will kind of determine uh, what these contracts will do. So thanks for watching, guys. I will list out the stocks that we just covered uh, on Twitter and obviously in the description of the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.